Welcome to this short video. In this video, we will have a quick overview of obstructive sleep apnea hyponea syndrome. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs when there is recurrent upper airway obstruction during sleep. These episodes are sufficient to cause sleep fragmentation and thus daytime sleepiness. Sleep apnea results from recurrent occlusion of the pharynx during sleep, usually at the level of the soft palate. What normally in every individual occurs is, inspiration results in negative pressure within the pharynx. During wakefulness, upper airway dilating muscles contract actively during inspiration and keep the airway patented during inspiration. During sleep, however, muscle tone declines and pharyngeal patency during inspiration is impaired. In some individuals, this factor combines with an anatomically narrow palatopharynx and thus results in obstructive sleep apnea hyponea syndrome. Obstructive sleep apnea is characterized by excessive daytime somnolence, fatigue despite having sufficient sleep time, morning headaches, weight gain, and erectile dysfunction in men. The patient's spouse may report the patient having restless sleep, loud snoring, and witnessing apneic episodes. The patient is usually unaware of brief awakenings during their sleep. Erythrocytosis is common in these patients and the patient looks plethoric. There is obesity and systemic hypertension is usually common. There may be signs of pulmonary hypertension, or core pulmonal may develop over time. Diagnosis of sleep apnea is confirmed by formal polysomnography. The severity of this syndrome is determined by the number of apneas or hyponeas per hour of sleep. This is called the apnea hyponea index. Here apnea is defined as a 10 second or longer breathing pause and hyponea is a 10 second or longer 50% reduction in ventilation that results in a 4% drop in arterial oxygen saturation. An index of 5 to 14 indicates mild, 15 to 30 moderate, and more than 30 is severe sleep apnea. It is noted that most cases of central apnea also have an obstructive component, and pure central sleep apnea is rare. Differential diagnoses of sleep apnea include chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, alcohol or sedative abuse, narcolepsy, seizure disorder, and hypothyroidism. Treatment of sleep apnea includes weight loss. Hypnotic medication avoidance is mandatory. Nocturnal continuous positive airway pressure and supplemental oxygen frequently abolish obstructive apnea and improve the general well-being of the patient. In those patients who cannot tolerate CPAP, mandibular advancement devices can be used, although these are less effective than CPAP. Modafinil, which is a CNS stimulant, may be beneficial as adjunctive therapy for excessive daytime sleepiness that persists despite adequate conventional therapy. Surgical approaches are reserved for selected cases. The procedures include uvulopalotopharyngeoplasty, nasal septoplasty, and tracheostomy.